So another thing that you can expect here, you can uh, expect a lot of running, a lot of swimming, and a lot of strength and conditioning. Five days a week, you're swimming. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you are swimming and you are running. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you are swimming and then you have strength and conditioning. And it's relentless. Every single day, two a days. If I was to talk to somebody that was gonna, you know, preparing to come to this course, I'd tell them, start training hard now, start getting used to running, start getting used to a lot of push-ups, pull-ups. Those minimum standards, blow those out of the water because those minimum standards are just the minimum. Make sure you're above and beyond. That's all you can really ask for. How you guys feel? Oh yeah! All right, what we're gonna start out with. We're gonna start out with pull-ups. Okay, reds, you have 60. It's a target, target set today. Reds have 60, blues have 50. I was crushing guys at dive mode PT. Then when I come here with 273, they're on week six, and I'm maybe like average, above average. So I know the program was working. A lot of guys didn't want to come. They felt they were ready to go straight there. But it's different than training on your own and training with a large group of guys. Build a camaraderie, get a good chemistry before we go. I think it's a really good idea. The coaches are great. They're actually positive motivators. And that helps a lot of guys who are not as strong. And it's helped every single guy. Try to stay up in that six, three to six inch range under the water so that you're not getting too deep on your glide phase, all right? 60 reps for red, however you want to get the pull-ups as long as there's no kipping involved and you know the least amount of sets as possible. They're training us, they're fueling us, giving us everything we need, they're giving us all the tools to be successful out there. It's just whether you use them. So it's everything I definitely expect it to be.